Hey everyone, it's Ben and today we're going to take a look at one of the best ponchos that I've ever owned. It's the Mest Poncho from Bushcraft Outfitters, coming up right now on Living Survival. So this is the Bushcraft Outfitters Mest Poncho. Now it comes in several different colors. I believe it comes in a Coyote, an OD. I believe it even comes in a Multicam and a Super Ultralight Sill uh, Nylon material as well. This is the urethane coated model. And let me tell you, when I say that it's the best poncho that I've ever had, it keeps me dry, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. I've had a lot of other ponchos that when you're hiking along, you know, they get really hot and clammy and sticky inside. And although they may keep the water out on the outside, they don't keep the moisture out on the inside. This poncho is a little bit different, being that it's not only a poncho, but it can also be a tarp as well, something that we've looked at before in other ponchos. But the way that this buttons down the side and creates air uh, that flows while you're moving around, as well as the breathability of the fabric itself, I have used it in sticky, hot, humid days when it's downpouring, and I was not wet on the inside at all from water or from that moisture that builds up when you're moving around. So the material is just as high quality as their tarps. You've got nylon ripstop here. It is urethane coated on the inside there. You've got this uh, poly that you can feel on the inside, but it's very lightweight being just over 11 ounces. So it's lightweight, packable, two things that are great for any product that you're gonna use out in the woods, backpacking, hiking, or camping. So as you can see, you get plenty of coverage when you're not wearing a pack. It's well past my knees, not only in the front and in the back, your arms, as long as you keep them down with any poncho, uh, extends out just past my elbows here. Of course, if you reach your arms up, you run the risk of water running down in there. But it did a surprisingly uh, good job at that as well. I was holding my GoPro out like this and I still didn't get any water coming down my arms or inside the poncho. Down both sides are these buttons that you can button right up to below your arm length button it all the way down so again you're getting coverage and you're keeping the front and the back together something that other ponchos simply don't do they wave around the back and the front they sway back and forth if you ever have used one of those cheaper ponchos you know what I'm talking about but the buttons keep it together so that it stays around you and then they also create a barrier along the sides while still providing adequate uh, ventilation through the sides. so you get you know a hole between each of the buttons where air can flow in and out, making it breathe really well and keeping you from getting sticky and wet on the inside. The Mess Poncho also has a really nice hood with shock cord. You've got a cord lock here, big enough to fit around my head. Some ponchos, believe it or not, have a tiny hole, especially the ones that are uh, that can be used as tarps as well, but it fits really well and then you can snug it right down around your head. Again, I was standing in a complete downpour and I didn't get wet other than what splashed in from hitting my face, but it's very comfortable uh, for a poncho that, I, like I said, can also be used as a tarp. I've used standalone ponchos that are pretty comfortable, but they, you know, you don't, you can't really use them as a tarp because they're sewn down the sides. So it has gotten really windy. It is absolutely pouring out. I still feel dry on the inside. I like the toggle here that I can tighten the head portion up. Now, of course, my arms and my feet are getting wet, especially when I'm walking. As long as I'm standing still, I'm confident that I'm staying dry. And again, my pack contents are staying dry. And it is coming down. Another great feature of this poncho is how easy it is to put on a pack. We can simply just pull the back side of the poncho up around us, pull out your sleeves, and take our pack, throw it right on our back here, throw our arms back through the uh, sleeve holes that you've created, and then what I do is I just scoop up the back portion again, 
and just kind of throw it over my back. And again, now you have full coverage for not only you, but the contents of your pack. Now you are going to lose some length in the back because of the pack, but it still does come down quite far and it kept my pack components very dry. And then even when you have a pack on the back, it's still not going to slide around on you or shift on you. Something that the other ponchos just tend to want to do. You know, I've used the frog togs. Those are terrible. They leak over time. They don't hold up well. And they, uh, you know, a lot of them are just sewn down so you really can't use it. As a tarp, I've used other ponchos uh, that are just strictly ponchos. Maybe they have a pocket inside. Again, they don't breathe. You get really sticky and clammy on the inside unless you're, you know, walking around on a cooler day. And I've also used ponchos that are designed as a poncho slash tarp. But again, I find those don't breathe as well. They're heavier. So the combination of this lightweight material, the combination of the way it's cut, the buttons down the side, and the fact that you get enough coverage even with the pack on the back is definitely a huge selling point uh, for me for this poncho. All right, just for fun, I'm back to my garage now. Let's go ahead and just stand in this water that's just completely bucketing down. Completely soaked. Let me go ahead and try to take this off without getting too wet. Of course, I'm going to get some drips behind me, but and pull that off. My shirt is completely dry. Go ahead and take the pack off here. So I just took my pack off here. It is completely bone dry. Not even a drip of water on it. So other than my head that got a little wet, my shirt is completely dry. My arms, just my forearms are wet, but my even the sides of my shirt are completely dry. All the way down here, the top of my pants, you can see are completely dry. Now the bottom where the uh, poncho wasn't covering, of course, is gonna be wet. But I'd say it did a really good job. One of the best ponchos I've ever had. The mess poncho has eight tie outs, so you can put it up in any number of configurations. The simplest would be just a simple uh, just lean-to like this. You would want to probably bring it down a little bit lower, but I put a sleep mat down there just to give you a reference for size. Certainly is going to keep you nice and dry in the event that you have, you know, just a downpour that comes up quickly while you're hiking on the trail. You don't want to set up a whole shelter system. Maybe you just want to throw a tarp up. It's going to keep you nice and dry awesome that you can use it not only as a poncho on the move but you could stop set it up and give yourself that extra little bit of shelter the tie outs are really well stitched again you have eight around the perimeter then you have those buttons that you could you could really uh, button those together and make like a makeshift bivy as well you'd have to close off one of the ends but there's so much you can do with a multi-purpose piece of kit like this I just love it and again it does the most important thing that you need it to do keeps you dry the mess poncho also comes with a stuff sack and as you can see stuffs down to next to nothing again 11 ounces so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your pack and it's going to be very light and in my opinion a necessity for any survival kit bug out bag or when you're backpacking camping or hiking so as you guys can see the mess poncho from bushcraft outfitters does the most important thing that a poncho should do keeps you dry now it not only keeps you dry when you're standing still or not moving much in a heavy rain but it also keeps you dry when you're on the move you don't get clammy and sticky and sweaty on the inside because of the vents on the outside now at first i thought maybe rain would get in there but they really don't i mean as long as you don't uh, have your arms up in the air you're not going to get water down the sides i was perfectly dry uh, as far as my top went the top portion of my pants everything that was covered by the poncho was dry i like the fact that i can carry not only a pack but a large pack underneath the poncho and then again the multi-use of the poncho being that you can use it for a shelter as well i'm going to put a link below to bushcraft outfitters website where you guys can check out the mess poncho as well as some of their other tarps we've reviewed their mess tarps before they have great products at great prices so i'm going to leave a link below to that 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Please share this video to your friends and family on your social media. You can follow me on my social media as well. Links are in the description on every video. And if you haven't already done so, click subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.